<laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Excuse me, folks. Sorry about that. Wow. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 770, NASDAQ off 473, SPs off 123. Gold, gold contract down $10.30, trading at 2,470 an ounce. We have silver flat, $28.48 an ounce, light sweet crude down 264, $73.67 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note down a full point, plus 10 ticks at 114.01. The 30 year down two points, two and a half points at 125 flat in King Dollar. King Dollar is trading down 1,200 ticks. Where'd you go on me? Where'd you go? Uh, there he is. At 103, 240. Euro is at 109. Yen is at 146. British pound is at 128 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so first, we're going to go to the e -minis. We take a look at the e minis. We've got down to 5531. Five, You're at 53, three, no, 5331, three, yeah. And right now we're at 5361. So you, you're barely off the lows. That being said, I suspect it's going to probably try to get into this 8 1, 5381. That's the last time we were up there. Coming into the close, I expect we're going to get there. We go into the NQs. It's the same type of setup inside the NQs. Inside the NQs, we're at uh, 524, I think 633 is game here. We had a question about the SPXS. Okay, so bottom line, the SPXS is the shot position, triple shot inside of the S&P 500. Nice trade, no doubt about that, okay? And what the question is, let's see, are we gonna, you know, well, here, let me tell you what I did, okay? And we came in today being shot the NDX 100. We were shot the NDX 100 yesterday and today. I closed that trade on the open today because the bottom line is that, you know, we, you get two days like this, this is, about as intense as you can get. Meaning that, yes, okay, so now the question is, what do you want to do with the SPXS? It is taking out a B point right now, it's taking out with volume, which would be setting up an ABC structure up. Okay, so that's that's the bullish part of it. The Meaning that you, you could stay where you're at. The other side of that is that when you normally get a day or two days like this, um, you know, you can definitely get a bounce out of here. That's the real bottom line. So what you could do is this. This is what I would do at this point. I would wait to see. But put a, I'd put a stop in right now, not like get too far away from you, in case at 20 of 3 that they start jamming this thing higher. Because if they do jam it higher, we will get a bounce on Monday. If, we, if, we, if we're laid down where we are right now, forget it, man. It could gap lower. <laughs> That's... You know, that's that's where we're kind of where we stand right now. So you can kind of take that and figure out what you want to do with it. It's, it's, a, it's a tough decision. There's no doubt about that. But you got to remember that you don't get two days. Well, hey, listen, man, you can get more than two days. I've seen more than two days down like this. There's no doubt about it. Um, we're going to have monster volume out here. So you get, let's see, in NYSE already we're at 648. And the composite, we're banging out. Yeah, look at this, 4.9 billion already in the composite. Composite's going to do a monster number out here. And if we take a look at the Qs, what you're going to see is this, is that 
the queues are coming into, we were talking about this yesterday, that high volume low. Well, guess what? That high volume low is going to get taken out by heavier volume. So this thing's not over, man. Even if we get a bounce, there's another, I, I suspect what we're going to do here is get out of 413 in the queues. All right, we're at 447 right now. That's a high volume low right down there, too. See it? Bingo, right there. Then there's another gap here. This is, <laughs> this is a real downdraft, man. That's the bottom line. We put the spies up here. Take a look at the spy. Oh, I want it daily. Yeah, same type of setup. See this high volume low? There you go. And then we get another gap here. So the high volume low, the, the spy is trading 531. The high volume low is 431. There's another gap here that's laying. Well, here, look at this one. Oh, this gets interesting. Now, look at this. Hold it. Now, see, the spy is stronger than the Qs because the SPY is actually going into that large bar with lighter volume. We'll see whether, yeah, they might do 90 million though. We're at 58 million right now. That bar has 90. 58. Yeah, you, you can get that today. We'll see, we'll see how that shakes out. Because this is also setting up, I suspect we're gonna get the volume. The real, the real kicker here is that, do you get a bounce coming into the close. For two. No, normally what would happen is this. When you get a market down this far, right, you're going to have the aspect that you have shots closing positions, right? That being said, however, because we were down, you know, 500 NQ points and almost 90 S&P points at the open, there's plenty of folks that closed at the open. So the real question is going to be, how many people shot it after that to buy, and how many people are trying to buy that bottom. So we'll see where this thing shakes out coming into the close. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now trading down 750. NASDAQ off 442. S&P's up 117. We'll come right back, folks.